Hello and welcome. Today we're taking a look at the Protocol Captor GPS Wi-Fi HD streaming drone. Now the drone comes in this elegant rectangular box um, showing the quadcopter here, view of the aircraft. And here is the back of the box here uh, listing some of its features including the 720p uh, HD camera that it has. So let's uh, open her up and see what we've got inside. Let's see here. Open this up. Let's see, so we've got two boxes. Let's pull this one out first. There we go, we've got the drone in there. Right here. Underneath it. So here's the contents, uh, basically you have um, the main box here the, that has the drone and underneath this box, uh, taped underneath, is this box right here or this uh, plastic mold here the, that has the um, controller, prop guards and battery and then you have finally this last uh, cardboard box here that essentially has the rest of the items here. Let's. This has the instruction manual, or set, you know, pet set of brochures and instruction manuals. Um, this has the um, FPV goggles that are pretty neat, right there. And then this, within the FPV goggles, you have these little uh, cloths. And then there's another sub box here. This has the, um, the uh, cell phone holder that you install this on the transmitter right there. And then we have another little baggie here that has spare propellers. It has um, a USB charger, a screwdriver, and uh, a USB adapter here so you can put the um, USB card and then you can plug this into your PC or uh, Mac and edit the footage that comes out of it. Uh, this is the aircraft out of the box. Um, very lightweight, um, a decent size, uh, not particularly big, not particularly small. Um, it does have the uh, 720p tilting camera right here and you can tilt it at just about any angle you want here, 90 degrees. Uh, you cannot tilt it remotely using the transmitter, so you have to do it before takeoff. It has a, an on-off button right here, so once you plug in the battery into this battery bay, uh, it will not turn on automatically. You will have to uh, push this uh, button right here, keep it pressed. It has its SD card slot right here, right below the battery bay. And it already comes with a four gig uh, SD card right here. So if we just pop it out, you'll see here that it has a, a four gigabyte SD card right there. And you just simply pop it in right here on the bottom. And uh, it does have uh, pretty nice lights here. You can see that it, it has visible lights here through the legs. So it's probably a very good night flyer and it has a very unique look to it. It's made out of a durable, flexible plastic frame. And so overall a very neat design. Now let me quickly uh, go over this battery that's included. It is a 7.4 volt, 700 milliamp uh, LiPo battery and it's very proprietary. As you can see, it has a very unique uh, shape. And uh, so what you do is you just simply slide this in like this and to, until it snaps. And now it's just a matter of um, turning on the quadcopter. You keep it pressed and you will see it blink like that. And then now it's time to uh, bind it with the transmitter right here. So now let's look at the basic buttons here on the uh, transmitter. This is a very simple transmitter. 
basically you have your on off button right here in the center turns it on you have your throttle and rudder sticks right there now to perform trims using the controller you'd simply push down the button and keep it pressed like that and then you would turn the um, other joystick in the direction you'd like to trim it and you'd hear a beep uh, also if you push down the um, rudder you'll hear uh, either one beep or two beeps and that's simply uh, adjusting the rate of speed and then at the top here on the left hand side you have your photo and video buttons right here video and photo and on the right hand side you have your uh, auto takeoff auto landing button and your return to home button so very simple and now with the app we're going to take a look at setting it up and uh, connecting it to the quadcopter uh, we would now turn on the transmitter and we push this button on now we have to bind it to the quadcopter uh, so you to do that you simply uh, push the throttle up and down and you'd hear a couple of beeps once that's done you'll notice that the light blinking pattern will change a little bit so you're bound um, one recommended uh, first step uh, before taking off is to calibrate the gyros and to do that you bring the throttle and rudder to the lower right hand corners like so and you'll see some blinking and you just wait till it stops like this now it's done now you can let go so that calibrates the gyros on there uh, and make sure that this is on a flat level surface without moving when that's done calibrating the quadcopter is a simple process you basically push the uh, throttle to the lower right corner and push the return to home button and then you'll notice the lights uh, change in sequence like so and once that's occurring you do a few turns clockwise while it's um, on its flat axis until you notice a change in the lights once that's done you see it flashing heavy or quickly um, now you just rotate it while it's facing up clockwise a few times until they go solid like so and now the quadcopter is um, the compass calibrated um, you will notice this rear light uh, blinking a lot uh, that means you don't quite have GPS lock yet when it uh, stops blinking and stays a solid uh, pattern that means you've got enough satellites to uh, take off if you uh, want to put this in idle mode uh, you would bring the throttle and rudder uh, to the lower center right now uh, let's connect to the app and um, set that up so once you're in the Wi-Fi settings of your mobile device um, you will notice there's an entry for Captor GPS. You simply connect to that and there's no Wi-Fi password. There we go. And once that's done, now we can go into the app. Now the app is called uh, Captor Drone from Protocol. And you can easily find this on the Android or Apple app stores. So you just um, enter like this looks like that and um, here's the main screen there's an icon here for settings if you want um, I believe this is the um, some instructions on on how to connect and use the app but you mainly want to start out with this start option and as you can see right away we have a um, a Wi-Fi FPV a stream with the um, quadcopter right here so that's how that works and the app is uh, very simple and straightforward uh, you have your battery indicator right here on the right um, I guess your range or Wi-Fi connectivity indicator right here 
This is your album. If you want to see your recorded uh, video images or what's on the SD card. And then right here you can split the screen and put this into your VR goggles for viewing. Uh, this is to record a video. This one is to take a picture. And that's essentially it. And then this takes you back to the main menu. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you how many satellites you're connected to or how far, how high you are. It really has no telemetry. The app is purely a straightforward FPV app. So let's take this one for a spin and um, see some flight footage.